Reaction to this now, we're joined by Nomaswazi Shabangum Dawe, the president of the South African Women Lawyers Association. A pleasure to have you on the program this evening. Now, this uh, recommendation or the JSE's decision recommending that uh, President Sil Ramaphosa must appoint the Supreme Court of Appeal Judge President Mandi Samaya is seen as a step in the right direction. Uh, give us your initial thoughts on this. Uh, we as the South African Women Lawyers Association were very excited about this recommendation. In any event, we supported her nomination when this whole process started. So the recommendation for us, it's a, what I would say, it's a bonus for us as women mm. uh, in the legal fraternity. Now, when looking back at uh, the proceedings or the JSC's uh, interviews that took place this week, uh, Maya was uh, seen as a, a favorite uh, by some, especially with reaction on social media. Uh, what, in your opinion, makes Maya a standout candidate for this top job? Maya is, is, is a good leader. She, she is a judge uh, herself in, in her own right. Mm. Uh, we... we in fact, she's the, she's the top judge in the country. So for us to have Maya as recommended as, as, as a chief justice, as I've said initially, that uh, it's a bonus to us. Whether the, the, the media had, uh, was a favorite for the media, that's another story. But for us as women in the, in the legal fraternity, we are happy. We always wanted to have a chief justice who is a woman and who would represent the views of women. So let's, ex let's expand on that uh, sentiment. And it's also quite important to note that while the JSC has named its preferred pick, it is still up to President Cyril Ramaphosa to decide who will be the country's next Chief Justice. What considerations do you believe the President should be making at this time? Uh, we are aware that this is a recommendation to the President and the final call is with the President. And we are hoping that the President will, will consider the fact that since democracy, we never had a chief justice who is a woman. Right. In fact, not even since since democracy. Since way back in you know, 1910, we never had a, a woman who is a chief justice in South Africa. Mm. So those are one of the things that the president must consider. But we don't want the president to consider uh, appointing, if he, he does appoint uh, President Maya, appointing her just because she's a woman. Maya is... A president, I mean, she's a lawyer, she's a good judge, mm. she's a, she's, 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 she's everything. So we don't want that ticket of being a woman uh, to be used, uh, I, I mean, outside of other, other, other things that the president has to look at. It's quite interesting because she also uh, said that, I mean, she's not just a, a woman going for the top job, but she's also a, a credible uh, candidate for this uh, top position. Now, let's reflect a bit on those proceedings this week. Uh, the JSC interviewed four shortlisted candidates for the top post throughout the week. Uh, following this uh, thorough selection process, which for the first time also involved public nominations, uh, talk us through your own observations on what stood out during these hearings. You know, from us, as, or from me personally, all these four candidates are appointable, and they are also good judges. Mm. But as I've said that from the onset, we supported, or we seconded, the, we supported the nomination of uh, President Maya, because we believe that she is a good candidate to be elected as a chief justice. Now, as we wrap up our discussion, for young female legal practitioners, what kind of inspiration do you think this offers or leaves them with? You see, our women lawyers, uh, the young lawyers, they are looking for someone who they are going to look up at her. So uh, if Maya is appointed as a chief justice of the country, that will have a huge impact on our young lawyers who are still uh, climbing the ladder to be where the chief, I mean, President Maya is now. So it's going to have a huge impact, not only to young lawyers, but also to us who have been in the legal fraternity for years. 
That was Nomaswazi Shabangu Ndao. She's the president of the South African Women's Lawyers Association, describing Maya's nomination for the top job of Chief Justice of the Republic as a bonus for women, especially.